Today is day 13 of the Love Yourself for Life video challenge. Actually, it's like way later, but I've missed several. Anyway, today is your choice for day 13. My name is MJ Schrader of MJSchrader.com. I've been struggling to think of something to talk about today, but I've decided to talk about something mentioned by Lauren and uh, Jason uh, Moffitt and Lauren Hudson on Facebook. There are people that uh, that only post happy stuff on Facebook. There are people that only post the sad stuff on Facebook. And there are people that go in between and they post happy stuff and sad stuff. Now the problem is is that some of the happy people post tell privately pull aside people and say you know you really shouldn't be posting your bad news or you shouldn't be down on Facebook you know you, you're supposed to project an ideal optimism and a happy image people don't want to read your depressing news the problem is is that if we project only our happiest of moments and we project the only the times that were really you know the best moments in life then we really look a lot better than we really are we're showing a false image of who we are and we're showing a false image to people who are already seeing Facebook and other social medias and seeing the ideal image of our lives anyway. We don't really post the bad images. We don't post the pictures that we don't like, the videos we don't like, the stupid moments that we've made a big mistake. We don't post those type of things. So already there are people that are whatever in whatever situation of their life where they're feeling down and they're feeling depressed and here we are and we only post the optimistic and the happiest of moments and they compare themselves to it. I mean, I know I've done it where I've seen everybody seems to be dating and happy and in family relationships and all of that stuff. And my family's just about gone. There's only four of us left. Um, well, five now that my brother has a, has a little boy. But... Um, you know, as somebody that doesn't really have a family, I see all these other images of family. But just because that's what I see, that doesn't mean that other people don't see the optimistic and the plus in my life or in other lives. Um, like I said, now, you know, you could see relationships. Whatever it is, there's different moments that we all see as everybody else having and that we don't have. And that's the reason I try and project on Facebook both the good and the bad. And I know that there are people that tell me, that have written me, and said, no, don't show the bad. And that's what Jason Moffat was talking about, was that he was told, oh, if you're having a bad day, don't tell people on Facebook. Because, you know, Facebook's supposed to be happy. Well, that's not the way life is. And if... Everybody, like I said, if the, everybody projected the optimist, then what, what? we're all lying. We're all lying. In any given day, we have good moments. We have bad moments. We have happy, sad. We have angry moments. That's just the way life is. How, how are you is a moment, is only a moment. So when we project only the happiest of moments, it makes people that are in a bad place feel even worse. So no, I don't believe that we should only show the happiest moments. I don't believe that Facebook should be limited to let's only show our joy when the world is full of both emotions, all emotions. Trust me, I've limited my emotions to only the happiest of moments. Well, not even the happiest of moments, but I cut out all of the pain and all of the suffering and all the anger and all the everything that I considered a negative emotion. But the only thing is, is that it eventually wound up being only one emotion. And that was just existing. So why not experience the range of life and not judge people for what they're displaying on Facebook when we all have a range of emotions?